Well, hello, Libra or Chinese Year Dog Cardinal Air. This one's for you. Hopefully, you had a very Merry Christmas. And thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Your appreciation, your patience, and your understanding. Thank you, Spirit Universe God, for showing up today. Let's see what the energy brings for the Libras as well. Chinese Year Dogs, Cardinal Air, all together. Let's see. I hope you guys have a happy New Year as well. Let's see what Libra's energy so happens to be with the All Things Considered Part 2 that I created by Empress Maggie and the Vibe Tribe family. We have the angel number 683. You guys could be seeing 683 or 683 could be confirmation. Expect money to come from unexpected sources and little miracles to take place in your life every day. Every day. Lucky. So you guys got the good luck card on the bottom. It's like the ability to find all the smallest miracles in your life. To add them up and view how they have given you the biggest miracle and a deep love for the ocean. Okay, one more card. Let's see. Libra. What else we got, Spirit? We got familiarity. So you guys are feeling familiar with something lately. Something familiar. And now, like, what I'm getting here with the familiarity is the fact that there's something that you've never done before here and you're doing it, but it's so familiar to you. It comes so naturally. It comes so easily to you. You're able, it's like if you were to knit. Say you've never knitted before. But all of a sudden, you're just knitting and you're just doing a great job. It's like, you know, somebody told you like three things and that was all you needed to know. And I don't care what you put in that knit position. You can always change that. But the fact being, it's like you just naturally do it. And it's something you used to do in a past life. That's why it comes so naturally, so easily. It's something you've already done so much in a past life, it's just becoming more familiar with you. Another feeling I'm getting for the familiarity is that somebody in your life has come kind of into your life. And it may even feel like maybe new, new, you know, maybe you met this person through like a coworker, you met this person through your family member, say like, say that your brother, your sister started dating somebody and they had like, you have like a party to get together and like this person that they're dating brings their best friend or brings their, um, their family member like their cousin or their brother or their sister or whatever and so happens there's a connection between the two of you but you've never met each other like you've only maybe even known each other for just a little bit but it's like already feels so familiar to you this person just seems like you've known them forever okay <clears throat> those are the two feelings i'm getting now let's see what the osho zen has to say with this energy What's the Osho Zen have to say for this energy and her voice listening to your inner voice? That could be why you guys are expecting some money because you guys have actually been rewarded in a way that your inner voice is working in your favor. You've been listening to it. Number two, number two could be specific. You're living in life a moment to moment. What's this familiarity though? What's this familiarity? The source is trying to speak to you and familiar familiar ways familiar ways as your soul would remember okay and the more you are intuitive the more you listen and listening to what your gut instinct is telling you the closer you're going to be to source and the source will be able to really familiarize certain things that you felt in the past lives that you've had to now and your soul will understand what it's trying to say and you are going to have some little bits of tweaks and, whoa, what is this feeling? Like, whoa, you know, and you're starting to, like, tweak into, like, to alignment. Like, whoa, something's really trying to tell me something here. That's the feeling. Okay, so source is there. Your inner voice is talking from source. It's a direct communication, Libra. A direct communication. I'm using the pot tarot today by uh, Peggy White. Reminds me of Betty White. R.I.P. to Betty White. She's a Capricorn, by the way. You guys got judgment in the reversal. It just popped out. It's a Virgo or a rooster energy. Something you guys have been working on. Maybe that's a recent past energy, huh? Like, it could even be a far long ago past in this reading. Because I feel past energy, past, past. So it could be like when you were younger, 20 years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago. Maybe even seven. Maybe even five. For some of you, because, you know, all of us are in different scales. All of us are in different levels of learning and living and being. So I feel, you know, all of you would have a different time frame, timeline. It's not the same out there. So the judgment in the reverse gives me a sense that it is a recent past. Let's see what current energy is. You guys got the four 
of joints, which is the four of wands, and which is an Aries or dragon energy, and that's where we're going into dragon year, 2024, um, in the January, beginning of February area, right there is when it will transform into the Chinese year dragon. Obviously, this is a celebrational time for you. You feel really good. You feel really, really celebrational and ecstatic, like lots of excitement. Maybe because you were celebrating with your family. Maybe you're getting ready for New Year's. Like, it looks like a New Year's Eve card. Okay. And it is your opposite sign, but I feel like that means all the challenges you've gone through in the past here, you're being rewarded in a lot of ways. Um, which is a huge thing, like, I was feeling with you listening to your inner voice by expecting money to come from unexpected sources. And little miracles to take place in your life every day little miracles like meeting somebody for being familiar with something or a little miracle the fact that you're so good at knitting all of a sudden you just never knew judgment in the reverse so for your recent past there was a doubt there was a doubt in your mind there's a doubt in your soul and not really within your soul but you've doubted your soul and that's like something you've had to come into terms with and understand um and then you understand that trusting in the source has gotten you farther than you have in the past so there's something in that that's kind of allowed you to just kind of go with the flow with the sway of what the source is trying to help you guide you and lead you to i feel like there's a few of you and you guys could definitely resonate with this and some of you may not but that's okay um the feeling is some of you had actually said no to people that you usually wouldn't have said no to and they could have asked you to go to a party. They could have asked you to go out to coffee. They could have asked you to give them a ride. They could have asked you whatever it may be. Usually you would have said yes, but you really did say no. And you've been doing this more often. Because spirits can tell you there's a gut feeling and gut instinct, a knot in your stomach or something that you're feeling that's just telling you no. And you're just listening to it. <laughs> Let's see what the future, near future energy will be bringing. Near future we have the seven of joints. Y'all must really like joints, huh? 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 Just kidding. Seven of wands, though. And that's the Leo's are Chinese or monkey's energy. Now, what, what I feel with that, because I know in the future here, we'll have the full moon in Leo next. The full moon in Leo comes after the full moon in Cancer. So, yeah, this will be right around the time that Dragon Year begins. Because it will happen right around the end of January, which will be a switch over right in the, the ending days of rabbit year into the beginning days of dragon. So right in the cusp area. But I feel like with the seven of wands, the energy of what you're going to be defending for all the celebrational energy and all your inner voice and everything like that, you're learning so much more. You are allowing yourself the capability. Hi, buddy. This is my little Libra kitty. This is my little Libra kitty, huh? What are you doing, Ezra? Hmm? What you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Hey. He's like, I know you guys are talking about me. No. You're a Libra, but that's not what we're talking about. <laughs> hey. Can I do this? Please? Please? Anyway. So you're going to be definitely taking the high road. You're going to be defending your beliefs. And sticking up and standing your ground. Wow, kitty. Knocking everything over. Um, that's a good feeling. And this is like confidence, bravery, and the courage in you, right? So I'm actually going to get an Osho Zen for all three. The judgment and the reversal was the consciousness energy. This is something that you knew that you were doubting. What's the four of joints? You have lots more possibilities coming for you what? in the celebrational manner. So, like, New Year's Eve could be really a specific time. Look what you're doing. You're knocking everything over. You're just pushing it with your tail. Seven of joints. Number two with that as well. You have two twos. Three, guidance. Yeah, because you are listening to everything that you were supposed to, you are being guided in the right direction to take the high road and listen to your intuition. And that's literally because you're standing up for your beliefs. You're sticking up for what you believe in. <laughs> hey, that's not what I said to do. <sighs> you're the one messing it up, kiddo. Kid, kiddo. You see what I'm saying? Kiddo. Anyway, so yeah, you're listening to your guidance. And you have two, two, three. You guys can be seeing two, two, three, three, two, 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 three, two a lot. You have that in your phone number as well. I'm going to get a little more. We all know about the recent past. We're just going to move it up onto the four of joints. 
the current energy possibility what kind of possibilities what kind of possibilities we have the uh eight of bongs eight of bongs the possibilities of you abandoning old things for new things to come through a deeper look at things having a self-analysis and just really allowing yourself to abandon and disregard things that just don't make you feel good don't make you feel happy don't make you feel like like you feel like you should feel you know what i mean you're just letting it go and with that it's like there's new a new journey you're taking onto something with the bongs going on the path upwards it's like you're going far into the distance there's so many possibilities you don't even know many things could be around you with the four the four bongs six of bongs six of bongs yeah independence six of bongs you're moving on from the past you're letting it go this is scorpio's energy and this is pisces energy by the way you're letting it all go. You're moving forward. Something about the full moon in Scorpio could be specific when we're in Taurus season for you guys as well. You have the Ace of Buds. See, and it landed right over here and hit the consciousness card right over on top of judgment in the reverse. So this is everything that you held yourself back from with this Ace of Buds coming in. This is a brand new beginning. And now you realize that, and that's why it's still, it's, it's still been waiting for you. Anytime a blessing is ready for you, it will be there for you. If you're not quite ready for it, it doesn't mean it's going anywhere. It's still just waiting for you to get the lessons right to be yours. It's always been yours. And this is the feeling of like, hey, from the past to now, you're allowed to have this new beginning. And it's a financial, stable, secure beginning. Manifestations working in your favor. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn are in very grounded energy, very stable. Um, let's see. Let's see what the energy of the guidance and then we have the five. Six, seven of pipes in the reversal. Seven of pipes. Seven of swords in the reverse is turning over a new leaf, confessing, coming clean. This is the ability to have faith in the road ahead and just move on with everything that you know to be resourceful and adaptable to the situations. Aquarius, trying to get your tiger. We also have the queen of pipes in the reverse and the death in the reverse. Scorpio, Virgo, Libra's energy. Somebody could be trying to deceive you out of something. That's where you have to stand your ground to this person. The Queen of Pipes in the reverse is a Libra or a Virgo's energy. It could be another Libra. It could be a Virgo or a Chinese or a rooster or a dog. It could be a Scorpio or a Chinese or a pig as well. But this person is somebody you may have to stand up to uh, because they're just trying to take something away from you or they're trying to force you to do something that you don't want to do. Um, this person's fearful of change and fear fearful like so if this person's been stuck on the ability to see like it could be this 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 situation somebody only sees that working a job working at a job and maybe just pretty much killing yourself off at a job is going to be the best way and you're only going to make it that way but there's been people out here that are being entrepreneurs and they're making money okay and they're doing it and they're making it work but somebody just can't see that being the case Okay, somebody wants to force you into what they want you to do because that's the only thing work that worked for them. Now, that's not fair. That's why you're going to stand up on your guidance and know what you need to say. And it doesn't have to be a situation that explains, but I've seen that a lot. I've seen that a lot out there. Um, so I feel like, you know, this is just something that I feel somebody's fearful of the change that could take place and see how it really could expand. But you know what? Because they're so stuck in dogmatic and thinking that's the only way, that's when they're never going to actually know themselves what that change could be, what the change could create, what that change could manifest for the rest of us, for their grandchildren, for their great grandchildren, for their great, 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 great grandchildren. I want a better future for them. I want them to know that they could do what they want to do, make a hobby out of something and literally make a living out of it. Um, and, you know, the more encouragement, the better, I think. But anyway, that's the feeling I'm getting with that. So I'm going to get you guys a few messages. I feel you, even though we are apart, intertwined and shared energy, I told you this familiarity is huge. I don't know who this is. Who is this? What's this? I, f I feel you even though we are apart. Ooh, somebody doesn't want any other options. This is the seven of bongs in the reverse. This is the seven of cups in the Scorpio's energy. Chinese your pig. But this person doesn't have, they don't want anybody else. They're, they're no pickings. None. They only want you. This is a reality check that they're having. They could even be sobering up for you in some, in some way. Um, sobering up from having so many options. That's the thing. Once upon a time, I was talking like all these people, you know, like they're just saying in their mind, I was talking to all these people, but you know what? 
I cut all these people off for this one person. I don't care anymore. Then it drops like the top of a hat, but bye. Because this is something they see in you. They feel so familiar with you. They feel so intertwined with you. They just, they feel you even when you're not around them. Okay. And that's, that's interesting. It feels like a completed puzzle piece to them. Anyway, let's see. We have someone is appalled, greatly dismayed, or horrified. Somebody's appalled. Maybe that's the person that's... They're horrified of... They're terrified of change. The Empress, Libra. And you got the Ten of Joints in the reverse. Ten of, ten of Wands, Sagittarius. You know what? Someone's appalled. They're, they're greatly dismayed. Because you chose yourself over what they wanted you to do. <clears throat> you chose to stay woke in life. And you chose to not allow others to control you, even in the system. You can control yourself, and that's all that needed. That's all that's needed. Someone's appalled by your behavior, by the fact that you have released all of the bad negative energy. You allowed yourself to release the burden from the issues from the people trying to convince you to be something that you didn't want to be to convince you that you were something that you were not to convince you that there's only one way to go about this when that's not the truth you know and they're appalled but that's the that's the feeling okay and anyway i hope this helped you guys are fantastic and i hope you guys really do have an amazing new year of course i'll see you guys next week but i probably won't have the time to get to you guys again this week because i have to get all the other 10 signs done because I've done two so far. But anyways, much love.